Hello everybody, welcome back to Hard Reset Info channel. In today's video, I'll show you how you can easily fix headphones not detected on your Honor 200 Smart. So first, if your headphones aren't detected, then I recommend you to reset your phone first because it may solve many detection issues. So hold your power button. Now, as you guys can see, the Gemini will turn on, but you can simply click away from it. I'll show it to you guys. Here, as you guys can see, we will have the Gemini. Now we can simply click here and now it's gone. So now click restart, touch again to restart the phone. And all you have to do is just wait. So I'll get back to you guys when my phone is restored. So now the phone is restarted. Now we have to enter the pin or whatever the password you have. And here now we can check our headphones. We can test them on another device to confirm that they work or we can try a different pair of headphones on our phone to make sure that it's not the hardware or the phone but it's the headphones. So if this still didn't work then you can clean the headphone jack, the 3.5mm or the USB-C port because dirt or lint or debris can block the connection. So gently clean the port with a toothpick or a soft brush but I do not recommend the toothpick that much. Also I do not recommend any sharp objects so don't stick sharp objects into the ports because you can damage them pretty bad. Now the next thing what you have to do is disable Bluetooth. Make sure that this icon is grey because that means it's disabled because audio might be routed to Bluetooth devices instead of the headphones. Now all you have to do is use official or certified adapters. If you're using an adapter, you must ensure that it's compatible and certified. And yeah, don't use no dollar source adapters. Get a real one that is good and that is certified to use. But if you do not use it, then all you have to do is update your software now. Because if none of that worked for you, then go over to settings scroll a bit down until you see system and updates here you will guys have the software update and now it's checking for the update I'll double check it for you guys so you guys can see that I'm running the latest version basically the software update is needed because in the older versions you might have had like some glitches with the detection and yeah just to make sure you should update your software and if all of that didn't work then the last step is to factory reset your phone so don't leave system and updates just yet now simply go to backup and restore here you can back up your data back up to google and if you're done click reset now click reset phone and click reset phone then you will have to enter your lock screen password and then you will be asked if you want to reset your phone so you simply click reset phone once again and that would be it. If none of that helped then go over to the service like a professional service to get a diagnose on what's going on with your phone and that would be it. So thank you guys for watching, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and see you next time. Bye.